pain, loss and the path to God. I still remember the desperation in the deep disappointment which often followed self-reflection. I turned to my creator to plead, I turned to plead, but not for what can be measured, bought, sold or traded. It was desperation for a purer currency. With my flaws suddenly made up open to me, I became desperate to be liberated from the tyranny of my own nafs, lower desires, I became desperate to be a better person. And so handing my heart to Allah, I prayed that I might be purified. And while I had always held to firm faith that God is the hearer of prayers, I had never imagined when or how that prayer would be answered. Soon after that prayer, I experienced one of the most difficult periods of my life during the experience. I braced myself and prayed for guidance and strength, but never did I see any connection to my previous prayer. It was not until that time had passed. And reflecting on it, I realized how I had grown. Suddenly I remembered my prayer. Suddenly I felt that the difficulty was itself the answer to the prayer I had made so desperately. The words of Rumi explain beautifully. When someone beats a rug with a stick, he is not beating the rug. His aim is to get rid of the dust. Your inward is full of dust from the veil of illness. And that dust will not leave all at once with every cruelty and every blow. It departs little by little from the heart's face. Sometimes in sleep and sometimes in wakefulness, so often we experience things in life and yet never see the connections between them. When we are given a hardship or feel pain, we often fail to consider that the experience may be the direct cause or result of another action or experience. Sometimes we fail to recognize the direct connection between the pain in our lives and our relationship with Allah. That pain and adversity serves many purposes in life. Times of hardship can act as both an indication as well as, uh, as, well as a cure for our broken relationship with our Creator. Times of difficulty test our faith, our fortitude and our strength. During these times, the level of our Iman becomes manifest. Adversity strips away our mask, revealing the truth behind mere declaration of faith. Hardships separate those whose declaration is true from those who are false. Allah says, do the people think that they will be left to say, we believe and they will not be tested, but we have certainly tested those before them and Allah will surely make evident those who are truthful and he will surely make evident the lawyers. Hardships test us. Hardships can also be a blessing and a sign of Allah's love. The Prophet Muhammad said, Whenever Allah feels good for a person, he subjects him to adversity. Bukhari. And yet, most people cannot fathom how adversity could possibly be good. Many do not recognize that hardship is in fact a purifier, which brings people back to their Lord. What happens to the arrogant who are suddenly put in a situation they cannot control? What happens to a man who finds himself stranded on the ocean in the middle of a storm? What happens when a ship that is unsinkable becomes the tail of the Titanic? These perceived misfortunes are in fact wake-up calls. They humble, they shake, they remind us of how small we are and how great God is. And in that way, they awaken us from the slumber of our own deceptions. Our 
heedlessness of our wandering and bring us back to our Creator, hardships strip away the veil of comfort from our eyes and remind us of what we are and where we are going, Allah says, and we tested them with good times and bad that perhaps they would return to be obedience. Quran, in another ayat, Allah explains, whenever we sent a prophet to our town, we took up its people in suffering and adversity in order that they might learn humility. Quran. The, this lesson is humil in humility purifies the human soul so much so that Allah comforts, comforts the believers in the Quran, is assuring them that any pain they encounter is intended to elevate and honor them, he says. If a wound hath touched you, be sure a similar wound hath touched the others. Such days of wearing fortunes we give to men and men by runs, that Allah may know those that believe, and that he may take to himself from your ranks martyr witnesses. And Allah loveth not those that do wrong. Quran. It is that very battle to purify the self which is the essence of, uh, to of the upward path to God. It brings, it begins with self-sacrifice and is paved by the sweat of struggle. It is this path we, which God describes when he says, O mankind, verily you are ever toiling on two words. Your Lord painfully toiling, but you shall meet him. Quran.